Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of my altered book. And as you could see, if you saw part one, I altered the cover of this book. I embellished it with an old um, handkerchief that I had gotten in a vintage shop, some old lace and fabric and um, some trim. And uh, before I give you a peek inside, I just want to say uh, thank you again to Treasure Books because this is completely her tutorial. I followed it followed it. This is just how I decorated the pages inside after following her tutorial. So I'm not giving instructions on how to do this. You need to go watch her. Um, she gives very detailed, easy to follow instructions. And then just fill it, you know, it doesn't need to be a prayer journal. You could fill this, you know, um, uh, however you want to creatively, um, you know, uh, you know, design your own book. So, but there's some really pretty altered pages in here and lots of Dutch doors and pocket, book pockets. And it was just really a lot of fun to work on too. And I wanted it to be sort of like a garden of hope when I opened it up. I wanted it to feel like that. I have lots of memorabilia from different seminars and, um, you know, different things that I've uh, participated in or attended uh, with my church and my ministry. So I just wanted a place to keep all of that contained. And inside I decorated the pages with um, some floral botanicals. I collect these florid, uh, fl bleh, floral botanical books. You know, I find them in, you know, wherever wherever you find old used books <laughs> and I have quite a few probably now but I tend to hoard the pictures because some of them are so pretty um yeah so I keep picking up more as I go along and I just use the uh images inside and then I fussy cut um well you'll see I'm gonna do a flip and I'm gonna try to be quiet while I do the flip and so you could just see what it is and then this is part two and in part three I will show you how I stuffed it with all of my um memories and photographs and stuff okay <laughs> 